This math puzzle is going viral in different social media platforms. So today I will explain to you the solution to this problem. This math problem involves logic, looking for patterns, order of operations, and the most important thing, paying attention to details. First, let's zoom in to the first line. A pair of shoes plus a pair of shoes plus a pair of shoes is equal to 30. So this means that each pair of shoes is worth 10. Because 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 30. So this means that the value of each pair of shoes is 10 and a shoe is worth 5. Now let's zoom in on line 2. A man plus a man plus a pair of shoes is equal to 20. In the previous line, we learned that the value for a pair of shoes is 10. This means that the value for each man is 5. So 5 plus 5 plus 10 is equal to 20. Now let's zoom in to line 3. For line 3, a pair of strap plus a pair of strap plus a man is equal to 13. In the previous line, we learned that a man is worth 5. This means that each pair of strap is 4, because 4 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 13. Since each pair of strap is worth 4, that means that one strap is worth 2. Before we begin with line 4, let's have a recap. A shoe is worth 5. A strap is worth 2. A man is worth 5. So this means that a man with a pair of straps and wearing a pair of shoes is worth 19. Now let's have line 4. Line 4 is the tricky part of this problem. You really have to pay attention to the details. Notice that the man is wearing a pair of shoes and also holding a pair of straps. We learned that the value for each shoe is 5. We also learned that each strap is worth 2. Since the man is wearing a pair of shoes, that's 10. He's also holding a pair of strap, that's 4. And the man himself is worth 5. So this means that the value of the second figure is 19. So now we have 5 plus 19 times 2. In simplifying this expression, 5 plus 19 times 2, we need to use the order of operations. And in this case, we need to multiply first 19 times 2, which is 38. And then we add 5 from 38. So the answer is 43. Few of my friends have sent this problem and asking for the right answer for this question. So today we will go over this particular problem. For this problem, we really need to pay attention to details. So here we go. For the first line, each figure has a value of 15 because there's three figures added up together to 45. So this means the first figure is 15, the second is 15, and the third is also 15. And we will go back to line one later. For line two, we have three ones added up together to 21. So this means that each one is 7. Line 3 is an eye test. If you look closely to the middle broom, there's actually two of them. So here in this problem, there's four brooms added up to 12. So this means that each broom is 3. 3, 3, and the middle one here is 6 total because there's two brooms. Before we continue with line 4, let's go back first to line 1. For line 1, we know that each figure is 15, and the witch is holding a wand and a broom. And we know that each wand is worth 7, and each broom is worth 3. So 7 plus 3 is 10. This means that the witch value is 5. So now we're ready for line 4. Each broom is worth 3, plus the value for the witch without a wand and without a broom is 5, times 
Also be careful on the third figure here because there's a double wand. Since there's two wands and each wand is worth seven, that means that is 14 total. So using the order of operations, we need to multiply first 5 times 14, which is 70, and then we need to add the 3. So the answer for this problem is 73.